recommendation over and over from the public. Uh, why hasn't the Justice Department look at why not have a, a public database, a government sanctioned database on officers that do wrong or convicted or was caught in some type of controversial uh, situation? Having a database would help mitigate some of these problems with local jurisdictions when they hire these people. Because as uh, the people from my people from Latvia say, they got people they, they hire and engage in a lot of wrongdoing that they get. Uh, matter of fact, we have an officer in St. Uh, New Iberia, Louisiana, Iberia Parish Sheriff Department. Everybody knows about that. It's been publicized in the New York Times. One of the officers was accused by the, by the feds, and he was convicted by the feds, and he pled guilty, took a plea deal, and got hired in St. Louis, Louisiana. Uh, oh, next day, that was all right, all right yeah. We do it, man, we do. <laughs> you are being God. God. Yeah. 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 taking all of these things right here. Why don't you guys suggest that they have a public database? So the oh, they, have a, they have a public database, they just don't use it because they're not here. I've seen that in here what like five, six, seven, eight times. It's, it's called passing the trash. Yeah, yeah, where a police officer get fired or whatever, and then he can walk right across the street two blocks and be 